everyone, I'm really sorry for not making a proper video for a while. Some of my subscribers will know why, because I made a video about it, but um, today I want to show you, uh, well, I want to recustomize one of my first ever custom dolls. And at the moment she's a little bit, like, not together, so I took her head off just like five minutes ago. And it was quite easy if you just use hot water and then you can pull the head off. And I'm annoyed because some of the purple from her hair is like going all over her face, so I'm obviously going to have to do a repaint. I also did get rid of her eyebrows a few weeks ago because they were so big. And there's a body. So, um, yeah. The only reason I'm recustomizing her is because I just want to make her look more like the actual character. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's my noodle doll. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there. here's what she looks like. I have made that outfit. Let me just show you. So yeah, I want to make her look like this. All of her clothes are in here, I think. Yeah, there's her dress. Yay, I'm in a different location now. So this is the hair that I'm planning to use. It isn't actually um, doll hair, it's felt. It's the same stuff that I used for my Lapis Lazuli doll wig. This stuff. I think it works really well for hair. If, like, if you can't afford or just find any doll hair. So that's the wig. I don't know whether I'm going to reroot or give her a wig. I might give her a wig because I just find it's a lot easier and I just don't risk ruining my doll. So I'm firstly going to start with removing the paint on her face. So I'm going to need to use some acetone. I'm actually running out of acetone for now. Just put it on a cotton bird and just rub away at the paint on the face. This doll used to be a Maleficent custom. And then my original character custom, it's been so many different things. But hopefully this will be her final look. And by the way, I recommend you use acetone and not nail polish remover because acetone just glides a lot easier across the face and it's just a lot better at removing any makeup or just paint or anything. Okay, so here is all of the like makeup off and now I'm going to cut her hair. Well, I'm going to cut it all off because it's... I coloured it purple with a permanent marker at some point and it's just going all over the face and I really don't like it. So I'm gonna cut all the hair off. Say goodbye to the doll that once was. So this is what she's looking like so far. I have got most of the hair out. This is a really, really difficult thing to do to get all the hair out, especially the hair at the back. Um, I also need to get rid of all the purple, which has gone all over her face and her nose as well. But yeah, I think I might be making a wig and just look how shiny her head is, it's weird. And here's all of the hair which um, I've got out of the head. Like there's some really horrible bits with glue in, ugh, it's just gross. And I used um, some nail scissors to get the glue out of the head and I used these clay tools to get the hair like I have to poke through the head to get more hair out and uh, yeah so I'm gonna start making a wig I think maybe I don't know Now I'm going to get started with adding the hair to the wig cap. So what I do is I add a little bit of glue on where I want the piece of hair to go and then I just basically stick the piece of hair in the place and smooth it down. Like that. Here is what the wig is looking like at the moment, all of the glue has dried and what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be cutting it to the desired length and because Noodle's hair is really short, I will be cutting it short. So 
Here is the wig on. It is not done yet. I need to style it a little bit more because it just looks weird at the moment. Like the fringe is just huge for some reason, but I will go around to that and I'll be back in a sec. So now I'm going to start with a repaint. Um, so I asked some people which eye out of all of these looks the best. And the most votes was four and five. So I'm going to be trying to put both of those designs into one. So the first thing I do, I get my pencil and I'm going to basically just go around the eye and where I want the eye to be. So just do an outline basically. I don't have any Mr. Super Clear so I can't actually draw on a face properly with pencil so I will be using acrylic paint. Here is the paint I'm using and this is a really good brand by the way. So I recommend it and all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to take the top off and use the paint which is inside of the lid so I don't waste any paint. I've got a whole range of brushes that I'm using for this, so firstly I'm just going to go into the eye with the paint and just put it in within the outline, which can be quite difficult with a thick paintbrush, I'm probably going to have to go for a thinner paintbrush. Whilst I wait for the white paint to dry, I'm going to be painting her lips, so I'm going to be painting those with red paint. are done and now I'm going to be carrying on with the eyes. Now I'm going to be doing the pupil and all I'm going to use is a green pencil because her eyes are green and I'm just going to be drawing a circle in the middle of the eye. Okay so now that's done I need to go around the eyes with black paint. Now this is really really difficult so you will need a really steady hand for this bit. And I recommend you try some practice on paper before you do this because this is really difficult now after the outline on both eyes I'm going to be adding more detail what the eyes looking like so far it's taken a few tries to get it right but um, yeah so now I'm going to add some little light spots into the eye just to add extra detail. Like that. So here is what she's looking like. So now I'm going to glaze the eyes so they, uh, well I'm going to seal the eyes actually. And it'll just make them look a lot better than they are now. And uh, yeah, all you've got to do with the sealing is just apply it in the places where you want the paint to seal. So I'm going to do it on the lips and the eyes. Done. Now I've added some extra detail to the eye because this is going to be phase 3 noodle and she has a black eye so I just did that extra little detail and now I'm going to put the head back on the body, reclothe her and put the wig on and hopefully she'll look okay. Are you ready for the reveal? I am just, I am amazed right now. I Let's just show you. Here she is. So happy with how she came out. I'm just in love right now. I love how the hair just looks. And I added the mask and everything. I did some. Well, I redid some of the outfit because it just looked old and didn't look very looked after. But I'm just so happy. Is this light helping? I don't really know. There's another look because it just got really dark because it's 10 o'clock right now. This is her. I'm so happy how she came out. I just love it. I'm just going to show you some really quick pictures of what she looked like before. So this is like her face. This is her in a phase one outfit. And then here she is in this outfit. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's what her face looked like. And then all of the And things. here is an actual drawing of the character in the outfit. Oh my god, here she is again. I'm just so happy with how she came out. I love it. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and hope you got some tips from it and make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and watch my other videos and also recommend Gorillaz to anyone who wants to buy new music because Gorillaz is a really really good band. Anyway, bye!